This week we're heading to Hollywood to talk to the cast of Solo. And we're flying. Oh, yeah, you're in his seat. No one can stop me! This is the Star Wars Show! Hello, and welcome to the Star Wars Show, Spring Break Savarine Edition. The only Star Wars show on the internet that built an entire beach indoors to interview celebrities for one episode. And now the news, Spring Break Edition. Woo! Andy, I'm going to take off my glasses now because I have a serious question for you. Oh. Do you know what we haven't done in over a year? Hmm. Gone to an exotic location somewhere in the United States to celebrate Star Wars for days on end? Exactly. And the torturous wait to find out when and where the next Star Wars celebration is taking place ends today. That's right, because Star Wars Celebration is making its triumphant return in 2019 for its 20th anniversary this April in Chicago. The five-day event begins on April 11th and runs through April 15th at McCormick Place. Tickets, including multi-day, single-day, and VIP, are scheduled to go on sale on June 5th at 12 p.m. Central at StarWarsCelebration.com. There is nothing like walking into a Star Wars Celebration. It's like getting a hug from the whole galaxy at once. <laughs> and you're going to be in your hometown. Yeah, I get to go home. I haven't been in so long. It's going to be very exciting. We don't have any details on panels or guests yet, but I'm sure you'll hear all about them here first as soon as they become available. In solo news, the movie premiered at the Dolby Theater in Hollywood last week and we were there on the carpet covering all of the action live. Luckily, we all had our own personal cameras rolling to show you guys what it takes to put on a highly polished red carpet live stream. And also because Anthony loves to vlog because he's a cool hip millennial teen. Exhibit A for Anthony. Carpet Where's body. my notification squad? <laughs> Is it Wednesday or Thursday? Honestly, I'd do it within a few minutes. I would figure it out. No, it's in the Dolby. What? Everything's the same as last year. <laughs> See you on the carpet. <laughs> It is currently Wednesday morning. I just landed in beautiful Burbank. These have talking points for everyone that could possibly come by our stage. Just taking over the TV, making graphics for the world premiere. It's going to be lit this year because it's going to be very hot. It's the first time we've done one of these in broad daylight. Here we come. Rehearsal. Let's go to top of show. Item number three, please. Andy and Anthony, I am going to give you some top of show magic. Mics are hot. Open Andy and Anthony. Andy, is there something behind me? The MTA is really sleeping on this one. Better hope it doesn't. It just, this bit just keeps going. <laughs> we'll work on this traffic. Okay, we are all clear. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Thank, Thank you wind. very much, everyone. We shoot the cold open at 3.45. Then at 4.30, everyone goes to the stage. The carpet opens. First guests arrive. <laughs> It's gonna be fun. Stand by Andy and Anthony. We are going live in one minute. 45 seconds to live. 30 seconds to camera one on the reveal. 20 seconds to X full sound. Five to black. Four, three, okay, guys. two, one. Rolex, up track music. Have a great show, we are live. We are so excited to get to hang out with you all night long here on the main stage, flanked on both sides by the best fans in the galaxy. Isn't that right? We're coming straight to David Collins on five. We're going to be featuring interviews with celebrity super fans, the filmmakers as they make their way down the red carpet. But most importantly, we're going to be featuring you at home. Rolex. Things are just heating up down here on the carpet. Hey, Chewie's in the house. The energy is Absolutely amazing. It is so exciting. Andy, we have to talk about this giant Millennium Falcon behind us. Oh, I almost didn't notice it. It's really subtle. I said the Millennium effing Falcon. This is showmanship at its best. It's what Star Wars fans deserve. And I'm so glad because it really feels like a summer movie to me. This is really fun. I think everybody's going to have a great time. It feels pretty amazing. It's so awesome. <laughs> Nuts to be here. And I'm excited to see all the fans here. People are really dressing up. It's fantastic. And it's unbelievable that you're all here and we're going to see Star Wars. Okay, let's go right to camera. What Kathy? makes these standalone movies so special? Everybody is waiting to see what what they are. I wanted to do a Star Wars movie that we hadn't seen ever before. This is a movie that's really built around the relationships that are going to wind up having an impact and define Han Solo's life. Everything about this movie is getting you ready for what you
you already know. And I think that the way that we get there is satisfying, that's for sure. And the whole movie just has that trajectory. It is action, fun, adventure, camaraderie. I walked away with a different feeling of satisfaction, something so huge. And to go through that experience was really a wonderful achievement. There's a lot in this movie for the fans. This movie chronicles a time where we learn why Han shot first. You're going to David after this. Can you talk a little bit about your relationship with Lando in this movie? It's the thin line between love and hate relationship. They kind of can't exist without each other, but they would never admit it. What is the vibe between you and Alden? Competitive. He started taking kickboxing, so I did that. And then I'd be like, how many reps did he do? Then i try to beat him by at least one. What do you want the Star Wars fan community to walk away with? I hope that they feel the thrill, you know, that I felt watching these movies as a kid. I'm a Star Wars fan first, and I want Chewbacca to be the same from movie to movie, including the originals. You guys are going to have a great time. This is a great summer movie, and uh, you guys are the reason I'm in this movie, and I love you very much. Thank you to all of the fans that participated in the show tonight, as well as everyone out there who watched live from home. Thank you guys so much. Solo a Star Wars Story opens nationwide on May 25th. But for us, it starts right now, which means we got to wrap this up and get to our seats. May, May the, the Force be with you. you. That's a wrap, everyone. I'm here on set, and I figure it's a great opportunity to take a tour of the Millennium Falcon. We're gonna start our tour in the forward crew compartment. Now, among the things that makes this version of the Falcon so special, first of all, it's Lando Calrissian's original mint condition Falcon. But in previous sets of the Falcon, they've kind of been split apart and isolated on different stages. You could not walk from one room of the Falcon to another because they were shot at different times. This version of the Falcon allows you to go from the entry ramp all the way into the insides of the ship like never before. Now, one of the things you'll notice about Lando Calrissian's Millennium Falcon is it's a ship of sophisticated taste. He's a businessman, and you never know what kind of business guests you'll bring aboard and what'll help sweeten the deal. So he's got, among other things, a fully stocked wet bar. Among the things you'll find here also is all of Lando's treasures, the things that are most important to him. I won't get into any details, but you'll probably recognize what he has in his future. This is a place of legends. Some would even call it sacred ground, Lando Calrissian's bedroom. Lando's a bit of a clothes horse, so he's got capes upon capes upon capes. This is what we call the circuitry bay, although most people remember it as the makeout room from The Empire Strikes Back. Interesting thing about this room is it does not exist on any blueprints, which makes us think maybe the whole set was improvised for The Empire Strikes Back. It's also the closet where Han Solo pulls out a blaster and gives it to Finn in The Force Awakens. One last thing I want to show you is this engineering monitoring station. It's where you can keep an eye on all of the Falcon subsystems, including this red button, which, if I read the manual correctly, ends this segment. Andy, can you believe that last Friday was the second anniversary of the Star Wars show? I cannot. It honestly feels like we've been doing this show for a couple of months, but you and I have been hosting together on and off for like almost three years now. That's nuts. It really is. What has been your favorite moment of making this show. Oh, that's really tough. Well, the holiday special was bonkers. Battlefront Paintball. Battlefront Paintball was good. What was yours? MoCap Studio, actually being on the MoCap stage at oh. Lucasfilm. Well, now we want to find out what yours is because we're kind of vain. Let us know by using the hashtag HBDSWS and we'll feature some of your faves next week. Oh, also next week, you will see why we are sitting here on this beach as we talk to the cast of Solo. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. Don't miss it. And remember, as <laughs> always, to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow us on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram, download the Star Wars app, talk to us on the community tab on YouTube, and if you have a kitten, give it a snuggle. What? Where do you come up with that? That was so random. Just want to make sure everybody's paying attention. You know, we say the same thing at the okay, end of every yeah. episode. Thanks for watching, and may the force be with you. And your Keep kittens. Everybody. Stay on your toes. Or whatever pets you have. Yes. I'm doing it this year. Vertical Dana. video. Vertical video. No vertical. No vertical video, Dana. I don't do this. So you can't use any vertical videos? No. So all my videos are no good. Videos. All right, forget it. It's all right, you tried.